and shine beloved it's terry joe so happy to be here this morning with you what a beautiful song it's one of my all-time favorites my sweet lord george harrison the beatles yeah that was george harrison version anyway i hope you all are well i'm today's day five it's friday april something and uh, let's get started with our morning rays of sunshine. I'm so excited because I got a little more organized last night and I made little cards because I was scribbling on them. And uh, so I made, I'm so funny because I'm such a teacher at heart that I always form everything into like a curriculum. So you know, I have here um, the date, the song, the welcome and intro, which is basically telling you the theme of the week, which is just show up. I'm Terry Joe um, doing this. And then we do the candle calling in the light. We pick a card. And it's, it's a little agenda. It makes my little teacher and organizer heart so happy. And obviously there are blanks there because this is a very spontaneous and in the moment show. But the thing that's funny about it is I'm then writing them down as if I'm going to recreate this. And who knows, maybe one day I will. But part of the reason why I have so much stuff is because there have been so many things like this I've done and then I write them all down because I get so excited. I love my enthusiasm for education. And by education, I mean especially soul and heart-centered education because that's really what I'm about. And if you ask me, I think that's what this world is really about, soul and heart-centered education. All right, sorry to start my coffee, but it's very good. It's time to light our candles. We're gonna light our mother Virgin Guadalupe candle that I love. Thank you, Mother Mary. And our lotus, which hopefully there's enough candle in there because I didn't change it out yesterday. I think there's a little more. All right, let's call in the light. We're going to do a two-minute peace meditation. So if you come on here while we're sitting here quietly, you'll understand it's only two minutes to get settled in and present. And remember when I say I'm calling in the light, this is just calling upon, really calling, the light is already here, but it's calling our awareness to the light and mm, asking it to be more activated in our lives, okay? So we're ready? Not sure about this centering today, if I got it right there. Okay. All right. So Mother, Father, God, I ask just now that we be surrounded, protected, and filled with the clear white light of the Holy Spirit. For any that are ill or suffering, that light go to them right away to nourish, surround, protect, and uplift them. Any ones that have passed on to the other side, any people that have died, I ask that they be, their souls be welcomed in grace and loving embrace. And that their transition be easy and their joy be multiplied for having made it to the other side. To all those light workers, avatars, teachers, and masters of the light that work with us on the other side, we're so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We feel your loving and your light expanding moment by moment here on planet Earth. Anything that can be lifted today that's worrying us, that's weighing on us, that's bothering us, that's disturbing our peace, we ask that that can be lifted with grace and ease and taken up into the higher realms and used in service. And we ask now, Spirit, for a blessing of calm, of peace, serenity, 
inner guidance, and a knowing that all is well. We ask all this for the highest good of all concerned, and so it is. We'll move into our two-minute peace meditation. I'm setting my little timer here on the phone. Sorry, I have to go on that side. And you can just focus on your breath, hand on your belly, hand on your heart. I actually saw one yesterday, an energetic healer used this, and I'm going to try it because it actually felt very comforting when I did it yesterday. I'm actually going to hold my third eye and my third chakra, solar plexus. I'm just sending loving through my hands. So bring your awareness back. Ooh, I'm feeling so much spirit. It's so beautiful. Gosh. All right, so we're going to pick our card for the day. Let's look in our treasure chest of cards in here. I think today I feel called to pick from the Rumi Oracle deck. This is a beautiful deck, um, particularly the writing. It's by Alana Farch Fairchild, who also does this one that I love. Oh, sorry, my, this Sacred Rebel deck. Oh my gosh, she is a writer. She has a gift. These The writings are fairly long, so I'm just gonna show you the cards though so you can see some of them. Gosh, but it's poetry and then it's based on Rumi's poetry. She, I mean, she writes very poetically and then it's based on Rumi's stuff. So I won't, I may, um, tap in just for a minute to just give you a taste of her writing, but I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's always like two pages and it's long, too long for us. Ooh, here, look what I picked. Whirling Goddess, wow, that is gonna be cool. I don't think I've read that one before. Whirling Goddess, I'll put it on our clip for the day. I keep these out for the day and look at them sometimes. to kind of bring in that energy of the Whirling Goddess. And let's see what it says. Lose your head. Not a single thread that has a head can go through the eye of the needle. What? That is by Rumi and amazing. I'm going to read the, oh, see, this is how long it is. Let me just show you. And then there's more. Like. You know, so it's 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 quite ooh, very nourishing, but I'll read the little opening paragraph. Come, my love, are you dizzy yet? If you can still find your feet, then that is okay with me. But if you can still find your head, then I will take issue. There is a great dance, but it cannot be danced with choreograph 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 steps. No, this great dance demands a response rather than an initiation, a reaction rather than a direction. So let us dissemble and lose our heads to the great music 
the rhythm held steady in our beating hearts. Our feet shall be moving whilst our minds, inadequate to the task, take the night off. I mean, you see what I mean? Do you see how powerful this is, this deck? All right, so I'm going to leave that out because there's a whole bunch more goodness in there. And I'm going to draw our next card, which is our inquiry card. And this is where you get to participate. So I hope whoever's there, or if you're watching this later, I hope you will share what your response to the inquiry question. This is this beautiful deck of mandalas and a simple question for us to ponder. What energizes me? Gosh, I love this deck. What energizes me? So let's think about this. Put this in its little, in the little wooden, cute little cuteness that it came with. What energizes me? Let me tune in to see. Right away, what comes to me is breath and water and remembering. And by remembering, I mean remembering spirit. Remember, I'm a divine being having a human experience. Gosh, that gets me lit up when I really tune into that. Now, I've had a lot of practice to remove the layers to remember, but you don't have to have had a lot of practice. Right now, there's a lot of grace here. So you can literally just close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, maybe your hand on your belly, if, that, if you're tactile like that, and say, spirit, help me remember. Help me know you're here. Help me know your presence in me as me. Help me know the light. Help me feel it in my being. And you'll feel something. So what energizes you? I would love to hear. I'm going to see. I'm going to write it. Maybe this will be the way I can do it. What energizes you? Maybe I'll try to write that. There. Oh, maybe someone will answer. Make me so happy. Um, now I want to apologize because I'm doing this wrong and I keep staring at myself. It's not because I'm obsessed with myself, although I am a little. It's because I am obsessed kind of with people. And looking at a green dot is super hard for me. But I'm going to train and train and retrain and retrain myself to do that. Because I'm not supposed to be looking down here. It's, I, I purposely made my screen super tiny down in the bottom before it was right here. So now today's is going to be weird. If you're wondering why is she looking in the bottom corner, that's why because I'm not used to looking at a green dot. It feels impersonal, it feels weird, um, but that's okay. Hi, green dot and all you people out there. All right, let's see what's next. Our ray of sun, our ray of sunshine. So this is a little part where I do a teeny tiny two or three minute talk. And our theme this week is just show up. So I'm just gonna talk about that. I have been super enthusiastic to come here every morning and even on Wednesday, when I told you I wasn't going to be here because I had a dentist appointment, I just shot out of bed and said, I have to go and say, rise and shine, beloved. And so that makes me so excited. This morning, I woke up a bit late. So I actually came on a couple minutes late. Um, and I just was tired. And one of my intentions, I'm not there yet, but next week, our theme is self-care. And you're worthy of your own self-care is really kind of the bigger theme. Uh, and I'm going to talk about creating a bedtime routine. I don't know. That just came out of my mouth. So apparently that's what I'm going to talk about because that's my weakest area. I'm very strong in the morning. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm very happy to be here on planet Earth for another day and because I feel like I sleep with spirit. So it's very clear. But then all day I get to hang out with the mind like Rumi was talking about in this card, right, uh, of Terry Joe, and she's chatty, 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 opinionated, judgmental, thinking all the time, thinks she knows, self-righteous, all these things, you know, bless her, love Terry Joe's mind. Um, but by the time it's bedtime, I don't want to do, like, I'm very undisciplined. So I don't want to get to bed early. I don't want to do my meditation. I don't want to do my reading because I try to read right before I go to bed. I want to watch my one Netflix show a day that I'm allowed. Right now it happens to be Parks and Recreation. It's a 20 minute show. That's what I do before bed and I eat a bowl of ice cream. And it's and I'm not judging, I'm not shaming, but it is not how I want to fall asleep at 2.30 in the morning. And almost always I go to bed between 2 and 3.30 in the morning. And then I'm up at 8 or 8.20 is the, at the latest because I go on another call at 9 for a 
nourishing thing for me, like a spiritual blessing this day. Um, that's nine to nine twenty, which is actually part of how this um, came about. Because this guy John Morton is doing it every day. He's a beautiful soul, John and Lee, Lee Taylor Young, and um, I'm very inspired by their blessing this day. And I thought, oh, I want to do my own too. So that was part of my inspiration. So that's my little mini ray of sunshine for you today. Just show up. And um, yeah. Okay, so next we're going to do yesterday's tool. I'm gonna to comment on that. Yesterday's activity was doing a nature walk, walk to a nearby park, library, or cafe, pay attention as you walk, soaking in the beauty, walk intentionally for a minimum of 30 minutes. Confession, I did this, but I walked to the store because I needed something. And actually I walked to two stores since I was on my store run. I tried to go to the store no more than once a week. Um, and I did my little things and got my ice cream and my couple of things I needed. And um, I didn't pay as much attention. It was very warm, uh, but I didn't pay as much attention to nature as I could have because I was listening to inspirational, an inspirational talk. So, but I did my walk for 30 minutes. Um, but, but it was kind of halfway if I really were to be honest, sorry to get up, but I have to pick from our jar of, of, uh, and I'm aware of the time I have to pick from our jar of activities, heart centered activities. This one says video appreciation, say appreciations into the video camera while looking into your eyes. So you can do this on your phone as a video, you know, just a quick one, maybe even a minute. And I'm gonna demonstrate right now and do mine here, okay? I didn't plan any of this, so we'll see what comes forward. Looking into the green dot. Oh, beloved Terry Joe, I wanna close my eyes, but I'm not going to because I see you. I see your joy, I see your enthusiasm, I see your courage, I see your willingness. I see your honesty, your authenticity, your vulnerability, your depth. I am in awe of who you are, who you've come into being, which is really your natural self. I see the you that was you 50 years ago. I see the you that was you many lifetimes ago. I see the soul in you. I'm so honored, blessed, and grateful to know you and to see you. So yours will be your version of whatever comes through. Just be kind. We all need more kindness. All right. So next we have our tool. We did pick our tool for the day. Let's say what our intention is for the day. I'm going to tune in and see my intention. I have several Zoom calls. In fact, I'm not doing a story today because I'm getting off to do an educational forum on Heart Set called Heart Set with Stu Semigram and Educare, super excited about that. Then I have um, all kinds of meditations and things and self-care that I need to do. And um, I have another call learning about seeding and tithing, which is being intentional with our money this afternoon and a call with a dear friend, an educator who I love so much and we're gonna share ideas. And hopefully I'll spend some time with my brother, have a nice dinner. So. My intentions are a little bit more about day directions, like I think of my day and what's gonna happen. You can share what yours are, what's your main. And for me, my main intention for today, or I'll just go with my quality of the day, is exuberance. I'm just gonna have exuberance in what I do, which is a vitality in a story. And any announcements I have? Yes. This daily, as of right now, I will be doing this on the weekends too. There may come a time where I decide to take a day off, but uh, that will be more situational than it will be a regular day, daily thing. So I'll be here Saturday and Sunday. For those of you who work, you may be able to watch me live. And remember, you can always watch it in the on my Facebook page because it will be there forever, hopefully. And I'm going to try to make them into a video series. I don't know exactly how to do that yet, but... Uh, at least to put them up on YouTube. So remember your assignment today. Video your appreciations of yourself. 
and type in there if you want your quality or your intentions for the day anytime you want. All right, I love you. Stay blessed and enjoy your day. Again, I'm looking down there. Enjoy your day.